Okay, welcome to Friday's video. This video is on my 2020 state, the tw state of during the 20, my clone army during 2020. I have um, collected most of these through recent years. Some of them, though, are older when I still wasn't collecting, collecting Lego Star Wars sets. So I have over here on the left, the hodgepodge section, I guess, the area that didn't have enough to make its own division. We have the clone commander from the ATTE, Clone Wars 2003, not Clone Wars, Attack of the Clones, ATTE, Gene Ocean, Walker set, right here. And then we have behind him two phase one clone troopers from the Jedi and Bat and clone trooper battle pack behind there. We have two wolf pack troopers. These are the most valuable in my collection. At least I'm pretty sure going for each about $40. So that's we're not up front and we're not really at the price where I can collect more. <laughs> And then we have a bomb squad trooper, phase one, a phase one pilot, clone pilot, which was the my first clone trooper from the microfighter, clone wars, no, not clone wars, attack of the clones, microfighter, gene, no, republic gunship. Next up, we have the clone gunner from the 2016 TX-130T clone tank. Next, we have the 501st Division, and thanks to some very efficient efforts by the LEGO Star Wars group community, we received a 501st Battle Pack, quotes around that, because it's $30 and larger than the average Battle Pack, but it has four of roughly the same figure, so it's a Battle Pack, and... Um, that mainly is what makes up the bulk of this clone army, I guess. I have my named characters from my stop motion up front, then I'll move back through the bulk of the army. I have Sergeant Lance, who you've seen in the stop motion. G, who you've rarely seen. Ace, who you've somewhat seen. And Monkey Wrench, who you've rarely seen. Next, we have a row of... 501st Troopers, carrying Lego's version of a DC-15A, at least I'm pretty sure what it's called. And then after that, we have 501st Troopers, surprise, holding DC-15C Lego versions. No, these are not customs, I'm just referring to them, of what the, the scale compared to the Clone Wars weapons. We have two of those, and then in the middle, a Jet Trooper. We have four, a row of Jet Troopers behind here. From the battle pack and all of these this is four battle packs worth so if you're just looking for a quantity they 16 doesn't sound like a lot but when it's on a base plate it looks pretty big I know my 501st army is nothing compared to the hundreds of 501st minifigures army out there but um, yeah I don't make money off YouTube next up we have the um, I guess call it camo. It's Gene Ocean and Kashyyyk troopers. We have Commander Gree leading them, and then two scout troopers carrying pistols. Because I'm pretty sure I don't. I really haven't looked in like the directions since I built them, the sets with them for what weapon they carry. But I don't think they originally came with pistols. I think pistols are something that should come should come with Gene Ocean Scout Troopers. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the weapon they use, at least in the comics, because they're supposed to be light, their armor's lighter, and they're mainly stealth and all that. Then after that, we have two Phase 2 Gene Ocean Troopers from the Gene Ocean Trooper Battle Pack from 2015. 2015, yeah. 2015, that was uh, your the Rebel box art. Next up, we have the 
after, in the same battle pack, two of the Airborne Division Gene Ocean Phase 2 Troopers. These don't, these, this Legion doesn't use jetpacks like the 501st Jet Troopers, which have battle packs, not battle packs, but jetpacks as you see. Alright, that is the clone army portion of, clone minifigure portion of my army. Next up, we will go through the builds. Okay, so the, probably the most recent large set edition, if you can tell by looking at it now. But I purchased this off of eBay used, not sealed in box, because that's too expensive. But the Clone Wars ATTE 2013 Walker. This is the beginning of summer eBay purchase. Basically, I survived the A school year so um yeah but lego and this set basically has its rotating turret on top i'm not doing a review on these at the moment i plan to do though so this is going to be a skim a hatch in the back with a nice little ladder pops out there cramped interior but you can always mod this second opening Oh, great. By removing the missile rack and plating the inside with, like, just some basic gray panels. I'll probably do that for my... I'm just dropping all sorts of stuff. Inside of here, by just... Let's just see if I can show that section. See, like, there's a gap right there uh, and there goes a leg but anyway yeah really sorry about the set falling apart I don't know why it it shouldn't do this it's never I've never had this issue it's probably just me being just bumping stuff so that is the Clone Wars ATT Evat only came with one clone minifigure and the main reason I bought it though was for the build I've wanted this one ever since I got the 2014 visual dictionary and just it was an older set at the time and I wasn't capable of earning as much money at the time too but it's nice to have this in the edit collection so now let's move on to the next build Next up, we have the smaller Clone Wars, well, Revenge of the Sith, I'm pretty sure, set, the TX-130T. This set might be missing several pieces because I actually purchased, this was purchased for me the year it actually came out, and I might have taken a piece or two off of it. And I, at the moment, I am working on restoring sets. I recently restored my at to its former 2014 glory. But anyway, we have this here. It's a downscale from the Clone War. The, uh, it's older version, which I don't have. It just has a small interior for your clone gunner. That's where I got my Phase 2 gunner. Came with a Awa Secura minifigure and two battle droids. It just, yeah, it's pretty basic build. And the, definitely the customs out there. This is not a sponsor or anything, I'm pretty sure. Like, just all the customs out there have done a far better job representing it than Legos. Legos is still fine, it, but for someone who wants it for a mock to be instantly recognizable, it's not as similar to the actual build or look of it when it's in the comics and the movie. Moving on to the next build. We have the 2016 Turbo Tank. This set I earned 
worked for back actually in 2016. This was the big set. Definitely, it's, it's a downscaled version, which I've never actually held the older versions of it. But I don't know. It's massive still. You know, like that's my hand, and it's that wide of a top, and like that on the side. But it's a well represented. I'm pretty, I think, and it just the wheel how you, it would turn as you tilt it this way. The wheels slope in. Nice little spring in there. Interior with a knob I done a little bit of adjustment to the watchtower but you just kind of reach in there and twist that and that twists that up back section just a nice cabin for this is the command uh, the commander Gree and scout one of the scout troopers came in this set the other one came in the 2014 droid gunship just a uh, cannon on top flick fire missile areas and he's here just little cannons non-functioning ones so next up on the list is the most recent edition we have the five of first battle pack builds of which I have four Unbox. I have one sealed battle pack, but we basically a pretty sure I'm pronouncing this right. A barrack speeder, speeder bike, slightly overscaled, but it you these are larger bricks and it's hard to make a Lego set when it's like 100 pieces and four minifigures for like fifteen dollars. Like, 100 pieces, yeah. I know, a micro fighter's like that. But, like, for a two-scale ATRT walker, or a two-scale barrack speeder, it's difficult to make that two-scale. If you want that, you can buy, go buy a custom or make it yourself. But that's something LEGO probably will never do, simply because low piece count and they're all small. And these... Obviously, Lego sets are meant for kids, and small pieces like this, being the majority size of the set, that's a, you would have to send almost a double of every piece, like Lego does, with pieces like this, but that's like two speeders for one speeder, so why not just make it two speeders, but, I mean, if doesn't make sense so um, moving away from that topic and two view blocker binoculars flip for a blaster handlebar seat um little stud shooter you can mod that to make the actual looking it's like a uh, sniper barrel sort of thing where it's just a um long be a long piece cylinder like a piece, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Just like that long, two, like a shorter one on top and longer one on the bottom. Make it accurate, but that is, I'm pretty sure V, I mean, there might be a small, yeah, there's the AT, RT, one from the turbo tank, but that build, which I didn't include, but I had that together, just didn't seem that significant, I guess, because you know it comes in a turbo tank set. So that is basically what I have for the Clone Army. This is definitely a longer video, but, um, yeah, Clone Army 2020. Bought more Legos this year than I ever have, because it's 2020 stuck at home. What else to do? But, yeah, the 501st Battle Pack is probably the fan favorite at the moment, and one of my favorites. Not my favorite, though. I... Personally, still really like the 2016 ATST. I'm pretty sure Imperial Walker is definitely one of my favorites, along with the um, ATTE Clone Wars Geonosian. It's 
used in Clone Wars, but it's based off Battle of Geonosis. ATTE Walker is definitely one of my favorites, and V Turbo Tank. It's underrated in my opinion because of it just being smaller, but that's what happens as stuff moves on. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for sticking around to the end because longer video, as I said before. So, yeah, bye.